Hi and welcome to Skein Studio. My name is Kristen. I'm also known as K10 on Ravelry, that's K10 and Skein Yarns pretty much everywhere else. This is episode number 36 and it's a Tuesday. It's the 16th of June um, and uh, it's about lunchtime. I should be at work but I'm not. Um, I am taking the week off. Well, most of the week. I worked yesterday, Monday, but I'm taking the rest of the week off just because I was feeling a little bit tired, a little bit run down and I haven't really had a break for oh, quite some time. The last time I had a break was when we moved but I wouldn't consider that a break. It was pretty hectic. So yes, I'm taking some time off and um, it's a perfect time really because the weather is cold, it's rainy, it's overcast and it's meant to be like that for the rest of the week. So um, really nice weather to curl up on the couch and do lots of knitting and um, watch podcasts, listen to podcasts, which I haven't done for a long time. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, <clears throat> I think that's all I wanted to say. Yep. So I want to talk about the knit along quickly before we get into things. Um, so we're having a podcast knit along slash crochet along and it's knit any shawl design that you you want out of any hand dyed yarn. It must be hand dyed yarn. Um, can be your own or a indie dyer. It doesn't matter. And uh, yes, come over to the group and join in. So the podcast Knit Along runs from, well it started on the 1st of June, it goes to the 1st of August, so plenty of time. Um, and if you haven't joined in, please come over and join in. Uh, we have lots of people um, who are knitting shawls and there's actually quite a few people who have finished uh, their shawls which is quite amazing and if you if you do finish one and you want to cast on a second shawl or a third or a fourth whatever do so and each um, entry uh, puts you in for a prize so if you knit six shawls you'll be put in six times and we've got some really nice prizes so I did have this up somewhere. Uh, where's my? Sorry, I had this. I had my page pulled up with all the prizes, and it's disappeared. I've um, actually been. This is like the. Oh, what the hell has happened here? No. Okay. Now Ravelry's asking me to log in. This is the fourth or fifth time I've recorded this. <laughs> I think because I'm on holidays, my brain's just turned to jelly and yeah, it's, oh, come on, Ravelry, let me in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting there. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, so hopefully this is the last time because it's oh, almost 1.30 and I haven't had lunch yet so I really want to have this done so I can chill out for the rest of the day. Alright, okay, prizes. There's six prizes. So we had, well, I was contacted last week by three people who donated more prizes which is fantastic so I'll quick, quickly run through the prizes. We have um, a choice, winner's choice of two patterns from Libby Johnson. We have a color sock block, a color block sock kit from Miss Click Clack. She could also knit not only socks but shawls. Uh, we have winner's choice of color from me, Skein. Um, we have a shawl pattern by Holly Dapp. Um, Holly is the podcaster from Swift Knits. She contacted me last week and um, she's donating her new shawl pattern which hasn't been released yet but is almost ready to be released. So thank you Holly. 
Um, Melody from Mandarin's contacted me last week and she's donated a uh, winner's choice of shawl pattern from her Ravelry store so that's fantastic thank you um, Melody I'll put a link to her in the show notes and we have a winner's choice of ebook from Hoppy so that's Hoppy Logitelli so she contacted me last week too and um, offered a prize so that's fantastic so six prizes so come on over and join in. Um, we'd love to see you, love to meet you and um, yeah, be great. There's plenty of people knitting and it's very chatty so it's really really good. Uh, what I'm knitting in the knit along is a Pebble Beach shawl. This is by Helen Stewart, patterned by Helen Stewart. Really really enjoying it. Um, so lots of eyelets there as you can see. Um, I'm on the second repeat of eyelets. So I've done like the first lot of eyelets and now it's sort of changed up a bit. I'm using the Plucky Knitter um, Merino Singles Base in the Elmer T colorway. It's really really nice. It's um, a semi-solid grey. Deep, deep dark grey. It's, it's lovely. Uh, and according to the pattern I am around about halfway through so the way the pattern's written it's really really clever it's written in a table format and you can tick off each row as you go uh, I haven't printed the pattern out I'm actually using my um, knit companion app I'll put a link to that in the show notes I think it's only available on Apple devices um, so it's been really handy. I've just been sitting there knitting and ticking it off as I go, as I progress through. And yeah, I'm only um, around about 50%. It's not quite 50% yet. So yeah, it's going really well. I'm knitting the large size. The pattern does come in small, medium and large. And I'm thinking I probably should have knitted the larger size because I'm going to have I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit of yarn left over. But yeah, it's very, very nice. Well, that's all I've been knitting on. Uh, not all I've been knitting on. That's my end of my works in progress. Um, I am knitting, as you, you guys know, a um, Japan Sleeves uh, jumper from Hoki Locatelli. And... I was hoping to have that finished because there's not much to go on it, but um, I didn't get to uh, knit on it this week. Um, I'm not sure why, but I have a whole week to knit, so I'm on holidays. Hopefully I'll finish it. I did actually finish a, um, a project. I started... Okay, let's go from the beginning. I um, got in some new yarn for skein. It's a chunky yarn. It's called Pronto. Uh, it's a merino single ply, uh, chunky yarn. And I dyed up last week. I dyed up about six different colours. And this is one of the colourways that I dyed. It's a. Um, it's called Milky Way. It's a speckle dye. And I really, really liked it when it came out of the dye pot. And I took one skein and bought it home. And I was going through Ravelry trying to find something that I wanted to make. It was either going to be a hat or a cow. But what um, caught my eye was the Drop Stitch Cow by Abby Gregorio. And that's this. I need this in one night. I started at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I finished at six, uh, 8 o'clock at night. It was that quick. Uh, so yes, it's chunky yarn and I didn't... The pattern calls for four repeats of this garter stitch and, and drop stitch sort of repeat. But I only got three. Um, I was running out of yarn and I wouldn't have made four at all. So that's fine. It would have been a little bit wider, obviously. Um, but I think this is fine. It's just the right length, um, width and right length. And yes, I've been wearing this all day. It's so warm. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. Size 10 um, millimeter needles. Not sure what that is in US size, but they're very, very large. <laughs> and if you're honestly, if you're looking for a pattern that you can have in your library that you can just 
uh, knit up a really quick gift. This is a really good pattern to have because it's free, uh, which is fantastic. And um, yeah, it just knits up so quickly with chunky yarn. So yes, that's that. Uh, so I wanted to add a couple of new segments into the podcast. Um, one of them is things that I am wanting to make, or wanting to knit, and the other one is things that have caught my attention during the week. So um, what should I do first? Let's look at what I'm thinking of making because it sort of ties in with this. So when I was knitting the cowl and using the chunky yarn, I, I just thought I really want to make a cardigan out of chunky yarn because that would just, it would fly off the needles and it, it's just so nice to knit um, chunky merino yarn. I don't know what it is about, it's just really comforting and of course being winter here, um, you, you just want to wrap yourself up in chunky yarn, don't you? <laughs> So, um, I was looking at patterns, uh, trying to decide which one I, I wanted to make, and I have about four different patterns that I have my eye on. So the first one is called Teddy Widder, it's by Kate Shoom, and it is worked in the round. Uh, very, very simple drapey cardigan. I really like it because it doesn't have buttons. Don't have to worry about buttonholes. Um, you can just cast on, knit it, and I'm sure this will be done very, very quickly. I like how it's got that sort of texture on it too, and I'm not sure if you can see, but up on the top of the arms, there's... It looks like... Um, oh, I'd say that's done actually in a yoke. Looks like it's been increased around in a yoke. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Let's have a look. Top down, seamless. Oh, it's, yeah, ribbed. But it must be a certain type of rib because that doesn't look like a normal rib. Maybe it's a twisted rib. Uh, it's a raglan. And yes really really like it so they used Misty Alpaca which is a hundred meters to a hundred grams and this is 80 meters to a hundred grams so it's a little bit thicker but I'm sure it'd be fine so that's the first one that I was looking at the second one is called Nimbus uh, it's from Barocco Design and I'd say out of all these ones that I'm looking at, this would be probably the le the we'll say yeah the least favorite. I'm because I've picked four that I really like. That that first one that I just showed you, that's probably my favorite. This will be yeah. This is one I I like, but I I'm not sure if I if I'll knit this one or not. But that's it there. It's a cropped um, cardigan with a one button in, um, one button closure. It's knit in pieces, so it's seamed, which is actually, I suppose, quite a good thing because um, this merino yarn, being a single ply, once it's knit, it's going to uh, probably stretch quite a bit and lose shape. So I suppose if you're knitting it and you've got it in pieces, it will um, it will hold together nicer, keep its shape. Um, yeah, so that's that's one. That's that's kind of the last one I'm I'm thinking about. Uh, this is another Barocco design. It's called Cardamom, and I really like this. So, I'm, with winter being here, it's like <laughs> so funny. It's like as soon as winter comes, I think chunky yarn and I think cables. And this is one of the ones I'm thinking of. So it's got that lovely cable detail down the front and the textured stitches on the fronts. And again this one's done in pieces as well so it'll probably hold its shape a lot nicer than the first one that I showed but yeah I still really like that first one. Um, 
I liked how this is cropped as well. I could see this being really nice to wear with jeans and um, like one of those uh, flary sort of calf length skirts. So I really, really like that. Um, and the last one is called Vineyard. Vineyard Potter's Cardigan and it's by Wenlin Chia and she's the one that was um, had I think it was Twinkle Yarn was what she was connected to and Twinkle Yarn was like big chunky yarn um, and this is the cardigans this is probably my second favorite I really like the lace detail on the front I love those big buttons um, and it's kind of again not cropped but it's a shorter sort of um, high hip cardigan so yeah I really I really like that so it's, it's sort of boiling down to that first um, Teddy Widder simple drapey style cardigan or the Wenlin Chia um, cardigan with the lace the only thing is that this Vineyard Potter's cardigan, the one that I just showed you, I don't know if I can get that pattern online, so I'll have to see. I haven't looked into that yet. Um, and again, this one is worked flat as well, so that's seamed, so that will hold its shape quite nicely, I would imagine. Yeah. That's what I've been looking at. If you've got any ideas, let me know. Um, always up for pattern ideas. So that's that. Now the second thing I want to talk about. Um, uh, the second thing that I want to talk about and have in the podcast on a regular basis is um, patterns that have caught my attention. Or anything, actually anything knitting related that's caught my attention, whether it be patterns, new yarn, um, notions, whatever. Uh, any knitting news I'll talk about. But um, it's been funny this week because I have actually been drawn to two patterns that have I've found um, on my friends list. Uh, it, it's funny actually, I don't know if this happens to you a lot, but I'll see a pattern, it'll come out, and I'll think, oh yeah, it's nice, but it's not something that I'll favour or put in my queue or anything. And then all of a sudden somebody will knit it and then post their pictures on Ravelry. And it's either the colour that gets me or the way that they've photographed it, some, just something kind of sets off a, an alarm in my head and I think, oh, I must have that. So that happened to me this week twice. Um, the first time <laughs> was um, the Excuse Me Sure by Stephen West. So when that came out, I was I liked it, but I it didn't go into my queue or my favourites. So I just appreciated it and but thought I would never knit it. Anyway, this week, uh, Catherine, who is the knitter, uh, knitter dyer of Walk Collection yarn. She um, posted a picture on her, not posted a picture, put up a picture, um, a new project picture that came up on my Ravelry feed. <laughs> and um, yeah, I loved it instantly. So here it is. I think it's the um, colour that got me. I absolutely love those pinks and the, the grey and the white and I think she even has a bit of yellow in there so that's the Excuse Me Sure by Stephen West so that's her um, version and this is the Stephen West version that's his there and I suppose it's well it's black and white so it's it's not all that. I mean, it's eye-catching and it's it's kind of graphic, but it's not it's not something that I don't know. I just wasn't drawn to it straight away. He does have one there that's <clears throat> uh, oh that one. He has one that's um, color color work. Uh, 
Um, but yes, as soon as I saw Catherine's, I was like, I have got to have that. Yeah, so her, I'll give another picture up. Yeah, so her colour choices are just beautiful. Yes, there's a yellow. It's sort of like yellow, peach, pink, grey. Oh, it's just lovely. Love it. I'm going to need one of those. That's going straight into my queue. Uh, the second uh, pattern that really caught my eye, and again, it was from... Um, my friend's feed that I was looking at. Um, this is someone who I know quite well online. Um, her name, her username on Ravelry is called Fox Lane, Fox's Lanes, and this is her daughter. And she knit uh, this gorgeous um, cable cardigan. I absolutely love that photo. She she always has lovely photos. And this is the pattern. It's called Amanda. And I'm not even going to try and say that name. It's Lenny Holm something. I'll put a link in the show notes. And this is it here. And again, that's a lovely picture too. And it's a gorgeous cable cardigan. It's worsted yarn. So it'll knit up really quickly. Uh, so that's definitely going into my into my queue. I'm not someone. It's funny. I think uh, knitters, uh, not every knitter, but a lot of us sort of fall into different categories with what we like to knit. And I'm not a huge cable knitter. I've knit maybe I did knit one cardigan with cables, and I enjoyed it. But I'm really draw, drawn to. Um, lace and textured stitches more than I am to cables. I don't know why that is. Um, so I am going to actually make myself knit, or not make myself, because I really want to knit one, but I am going to knit a cable cardigan, because I, I do actually really like cables when I'm knitting them. I just don't knit them that often. I, I gravitate more towards, like I said, um, patterns that have lace or um, textured stitches. The other thing that I really want to try and knit is uh, colour work because I, I just don't do enough of it and um, I recently did some blog posts about choosing colour combinations for colour work and particularly with um, Fair Isle and I love Fair Isle. Um, I love those Fair Isle uh, Icelandic yoked sweaters and uh, cardigans and I really want to knit one um, so that's next on my queue. I might have a look at those actually. I'm going to have a look at some of those Fair Isle um, projects and I'll talk about them next week. I'll show you which ones I've pulled up. If you actually know any Fair Isle um, sweaters or cardigan patterns that you've knit um, that you can recommend, um, let me know. Actually, I'll put a link to Ravelry, the Ravelry group. So come on over to the Ravelry group and post it there. And that way um, I'll have it in the thread and I can always go back and check. Because I'm yeah, really would like to have a really nice pattern for Fair Isle. So yeah, that's it. That's it for me this week. Um, everything that I talk about, I'll put links in the show notes. Um, if you uh, want to friend me, I'm on I'm K10 on Ravelry. I always friend everyone back. Um, and I, like I said, I always look through my friend feed and I find, always find um, new projects and things. And like I was just saying, I find patterns through people's um, friend feed from what people are knitting because, yeah, sometimes patterns I'll see them but they don't really do anything for me and then all of a sudden I'll see someone who has knit it and I just, I really want it. So, um, yes, come and friend me. It'll be great, so I can check out what you've been knitting. Um, you can find me, like I said at the beginning, I'm K10 on Ravelry. Uh, I'm all over the internet as Skein Yarns. Um, my Facebook page has changed. Um, it was closed uh, because it was a business page, which I, didn't, I don't quite understand how that works, but I've opened up a new one. Um, I am Kristen Finlay on uh, Facebook. I think it's designs at scanyarn.com is the email. So if you want to come friend me, friend um or friend me. If you want to come and find me on Facebook, I'm 
um, signs at skeinyarn.com. I'll put that in the show notes. Um, what else? And I am that I'm designs at skeinyarn.com because I used all my other <laughs> email addresses. I had a nightmare time with Facebook. Um, yeah. I won't go into it, but yeah, it was really difficult to get a new account up. So that's why it's that kind of funny address. And um, yeah, of course, Instagram, Pinterest, all those places. Um, come on over and join the Need Along. Love to see you there. Come and join the group. Love to see you there too. Um, yeah, have a wonderful week. I know I am going to be. I'm going to be spending lots of time on the couch knitting. So um, hopefully next time. I have plenty of things to show you so yeah thanks for watching and um, see you next time bye